Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will see how we can easily download and install Microsoft Visual Studio 2022 on Windows 11. So it's very easy. We will install the Community Edition, that is the free version. So at first, we will download it. For that, go to the browser. I am using Chrome. You can use any browser. Here in type Microsoft Visual Studio. Now press Enter. On pressing Enter, you can see the official website is visible. Click on it. Here it is. Go to Downloads. Now you can see three versions are visible for Visual Studio 2022 Community, Professional and Enterprise. This is an open source, therefore it is free. So I'll just click on Free Download to download it. Now you can see the installer downloaded. Now we'll double click on it to install. Minimize this. Click on Continue. So it is downloading, then it will install. So guys, you can see we are inside the Visual Studio Community 2022. So for a sample project, we will go for a C Sharp console application. For that guys, under Workloads, you can see, go to .NET Desktop Development, you can see it is allowing you to create console applications. I'll just select this. After selecting on the right, you can see the installation details are visible. You can see it will install the .NET Framework, the Blend for Visual Studio, as well as the debugger, just-in-time debugger, profiling tools as well as IntelliCode also, which is fine for us. It will take 6.15 GB and the location it will be under program files and a new directory will get created. If you want to change the location, click on change, but the default one is fine. So it will also install while downloading. Click on install. Remember that it will take ample amount of time based on your internet connection. So let's begin. Click on install. Now you can see it will download and it will install and after that it will start after installation. Okay, so it is downloading. You can see the speed depends on your internet connection. Let's wait. So guys, you can see the download and installation completed. Now we need to just restart our computer. Let us restart. So guys, we have restarted our system. Now go to start and type Visual Studio and here it is. Click on open to open it. Now you can sign in here, but uh, if you don't want to sign in, just click on not now, maybe later. Here in, you need to select the environment that is you can say a theme. So I guess the dark theme is fine. Development settings if you want for Visual C Sharp, you can go for this. But I always prefer the general one. That will allow me to work on any one of them after installing the components. So I'll click on journal and click on start Visual Studio for the first time. So guys, you can see we have started Visual Studio 2022. We need to create a new project. So I'll just click on continue without code. Now we have reached here. So here it is guys. We will create a new application. Go to file, click on new, click on project. So we need to search for C Sharp console.net framework to create a console application. Let's go below. Here it is console app.net framework. Click on it. Click on next. Here is the name. Let us add a name. I'll add Amit console app for the project name and it will get saved here. And keep rest of them as same and click on create. Now this will create our project with a demo code. This is namespace. A namespace is the collection of classes. So we have a single class right now. Here it is class program and the main function, you know, as in Java, this is where the code execution starts the main function. Now let us print something quickly using the console right line. Here it is. Let us use semicolon. 
now go to file and just save all okay so now let us increase the size let's say now this is fine so now guys just click on the start button start without debugging you can see build started and herein you can see our first application is visible okay we just typed we just wrote my first c sharp application okay and the same is visible here okay if you clicked on start let's say i clicked on start exited on its own why because we haven't written console dot read key okay now okay now when you will click on save all now when you will click on start it will display the output in the console so this is what we wanted i'll close this so guys in this video we saw how we can easily download and install microsoft visual studio 2022 the current version on windows 11 with that we also saw a sample console application so guys thank you for watching the video if you liked it do subscribe to our channel Amit Things.